Over the past few years, Elon Musk has kept surprising the world with his technological innovations, moving from the launching of rockets to space to the development of electric jets and cars. Despite all of this being done, there is one major obstacle he is still trying to overcome, the battery. Therefore, we are going to venture into the frightening economics of Tesla's 4680 battery cell. What Tesla's 4680 battery is all about? How many secrets does this masterpiece hold that pushes Tesla's electric vehicle to maximum capability? How is it made? We know you must be wondering about all this now, right? Well, make sure to stick around and keep watching as we reveal the mysteries behind the 4680 battery. Generally, batteries are the major reason that technology isn't advancing fast enough because scientists are yet to find a way to store more energy in a smaller space. For more than a decade now, the human race has been stuck with lithium-ion batteries. Researchers are now working hard to find a breakthrough battery technology. Since the world is becoming eco-friendly, a lot of people are already moving to the idea of clean energy and therefore seeking out products and products makers such as Tesla. Tesla has unraveled its interest in making it difficult to produce tablet batteries. The battery is expected to lower the cost of Tesla's kilowatt per hour. The reason for the existence of Tesla as a company is because lithium-ion batteries have the highest charge capacity of any practical battery in history and are high enough to make EV electric vehicle practical. Every year in September, Tesla holds its annual battery day, where they discuss the latest advancements in batteries. During Tesla's annual battery day in 2020, the 4680 battery was introduced. Battery technology is constantly evolving and the latest advancements come from Panasonic, revealing a prototype of its new 4680 battery cell. This is the first time Panasonic has unveiled its 4680 battery. This advanced technology battery is due for powerful future Teslas. Saying that the new 4680 batteries will have five times the storage capacity of current Tesla battery packs and will cost 50% less to build. Panasonic officially admits that it is developing the 4680 type cylindrical cells at Tesla's request and that it was in discussions on the project with Tesla since before the event battery day in September 2020. That alone should give the company an advantage over other potential battery suppliers. Panasonic's new CEO, Yuki Kusumi, has said his company is prepared to make a large investment in producing the new cells if the results of test production are good for the cause. Tesla says it plans to deliver the first vehicles with the new 4680 battery cells sometime in 2022. While Panasonic has only specified 2022 as a production start target, its battery CEO has stated that in terms of product development, the goals of the 4680 project have largely been achieved and that it expects to receive an order from Tesla as soon as the cell can be put into production. Panasonic constructed a test line for the new format last year. For those who don't know, 4680 refers to 46 mm 1.6 inches wide by 80 mm 3.1 inches tall. With this, Tesla claims that there will be a 100-fold increase in battery production by 2023, all thanks to this new battery type. Tesla is also known to be one of the automakers using cylindrical-shaped cells. Tesla claims that the first vehicle with the 4680 battery will be released in 2022 or 2023. Along with building the 4680 battery, Panasonic will also supply batteries to America Electric startup Kano, which recently announced an agreement with the Japanese Electronics Corporation. The enlarged cylindrical 4680 cell, which Tesla first teased at its battery day in September 2020, brings its hopes and challenges. If Tesla can pull off this integrated battery manufacturing and the cell performs as planned, the 4680 could aid Musk's dreams to build millions of EVs a year around the world. Tesla's goals include boosting driving range by more than 50%, 16% of that due to the 4680 batteries, while having battery costs drop. Tesla continues to dominate EV sales in America, but its seemingly lead in driving range is under assault. Musk cites Tesla's expertise in batteries, eliminating steps, slashing costs, as its true competitive edge. In one example, Tesla plans to use raw silicone to boost its content in cells, using a scalable elastic polymer coating to conduct ions, boosting range by 20% and reducing pack costs by 5% according to Drew Baglino, its SVP of engineering. The new tabless 4680 cells are superior to cells with tabs in every way. 
Even though they are larger, eliminating the tab make it easier for electrons to get around inside the cell than in the current 2170 cells. These new cells are not the result of a single cell change to the size of cells. Similar to the numerous rewrites of Tesla's autopilot over the years, the 4680 cells represent an essential rewrite of the history of battery cells at Tesla. Tesla's pursuit of vertical integration comes from a desire to eliminate inefficiencies and improve the sustainability of the product. The tabless architecture of the new 4680 cells also has a direct impact on improving production. Eliminating the tab on each cell removes the thermal problem from the equation and allows Tesla to go to the lowest cost form factor in the simplest manufacturing process. Not only does a tabless design eliminate the need for a tab, it eliminates the need for the production lines to pause to add the tabs, thereby reducing energy and time consumption. Silicone is used in Tesla's batteries today, but its physical features make it a bit of a challenging element to use at a higher volume. The new design enables the larger diameter cells to achieve thermal properties similar to those of a smaller cell. Larger tab cells over the years have struggled to shed heat and to charge at a very fast speed, but the new Tesla cell disrupts the trend, charging almost as fast as smaller cells while bringing benefits to the larger cells. Tesla's redesign of the battery, cathode, and vehicle frame resulted in an improvement of 56% in Tesla's cost per kilowatt hour. That's a turnaround for Tesla and will enable an entirely new generation of low-cost electric vehicles. But with all these being said, note that it will take the company approximately about 18 months to get these changes to production. All things considered, some may wonder, is the 4680 battery an SSD? Yes, of course. Why? Solid-state batteries have been in development for over 40 years with no real breakthrough, and the new Tesla 4680 batteries are big news and its solid-state batteries have been discharged as the app for unlocking the potential of electric vehicles for years, meaning it is an SSD. But still, some might wonder, why is the 4680 battery better? Well, the logical reason behind it is that using cells that are too small means you generally have to fit thousands of individual batteries to make a pack large enough to power an electrical vehicle, which takes up production time and increases the amount of weight devoted to the casings of the cells and other structural elements that don't add to energy density. What's more is that the 4680 cell format is expected to form the basis of Tesla's so-called structural battery pack. Currently, Tesla battery packs are built to include the necessary support structure and protection to keep the 18650 or 2170 cells safe, even in the event of an accident. But this extra structure adds weight, thus reducing the vehicle's potential range. In summary, all this is to inform us that Tesla has improved the efficiency and capacity of its battery, reducing the cost of time in production, which simply means more batteries in less time. What do you think about Tesla's 4680 battery? How do you think this will improve the economics and models of modern cars? Remember to drop your comments below.